Hello, I'm nutrition educator Jada Wensman with Healthy Acadia. I'm here to make a recipe with you from our 10 Tips Cookbook, the main snap ed 10 Tips Cookbook. And this recipe today will be Indian lentils and pasta. But like you, I'm stuck at home and I don't have pasta, so I'm making it with rice. Now, this recipe is a super simple one, and I love it because it's really easy to substitute and it highlights one of my favorite ingredients, beans. Um, and lentils are a type of bean that are actually really quick to cook. Um, so this recipe comes together in about, oh, 40 minutes, um, and you can have it on the table quickly. All right, we're gonna start by putting a little bit of oil in our skillet. Now I've got this heating. I'm gonna pour that oil right in there. And as I feel the heat coming out here, I'm gonna start adding my alliums. Allium is the name of the onion family. So I'm gonna start with my onions. And we want these, here's a nice sizzle. We want these to start cooking until they are translucent. That means the light can go through them. I'm gonna add just a pinch of salt here to pull the water out of them, help them cook a little bit better. And I'll give those a stir. All right, next I'm going to add in the garlic. And our recipe calls for either two cloves of garlic, raw garlic chopped, which is what I have, or if you don't have garlic, you can use garlic powder. And you just use a half teaspoon of garlic powder, so it's a little bit stronger. Once those onions are translucent, I'm going to stir in most of the rest of the ingredients. So going down the list, we have our tomatoes, and it calls for diced tomatoes with the juice. I bought a no salt variety. Um, that way I can control how salty this food is and how much sodium I'm getting in my diet. So I'll add that in. Lots of liquid in there, we'll get that all in. And then we also wanna add our lentils and our spices. And your lentils, it calls for them to be rinsed. So I did rinse mine, and that just gets any dust or dirt off of those beans. I'll add those in. And finally, our spices. And here's where you can really play around a little bit. Here's where the experimentation can happen and substitution if you don't want to go to the store for something extra. So this recipe calls for a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of turmeric, and a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Now, I've made this before without the turmeric, but I use a little bit of curry powder instead. That worked just fine because it has turmeric in it. If you don't have it all, skip it, use something else, use a flavor that you like. Um, in this case, I do have some turmeric, so I'm gonna put in some of that. I'm going to put in my cumin. And I don't like things too spicy, but I want a little bit of heat, so I'm adding my quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. I'm gonna mix that all up and then we'll let it cook for a minute. We also wanna add some water at this point because our beans are going to be soaking up the juices from the tomatoes and they'll need even more to cook all the way through and we want them to be nice and soft. So in this jar, I've measured out my three cups of water. I'm gonna add that in. And I'll bring it up to a simmer first and then just let it go. I can put the lid on my pot and let it go for about 25 minutes. So we'll come back then. I'll show you how this all looks now that the water has cooked off. So these lentils can be served as is, just like this, or if you'd like, you can serve them with the pasta that's suggested in the recipe or any other grain. Um, Snap Ed, of course, recommends half of your grains be whole grains. Um, so I'm going to use some whole grain brown rice. I'm just going to put a little scoop in my bowl here. Just like that. I'm just going to take some of the lentils, add that on here. They have this lovely color from the turmeric. There's that. And now this is good just as is, or I like to top it with a little dollop of some kind of thick Greek yogurt, um, and then any fresh herbs that you have, cilantro would be great on here, or a little bit of parsley, or even some uh, chopped red onion might be nice. Something to give it a little extra color. 
just adding my little bit of yogurt on here. I don't have any fresh herbs right now, but I do have some parsley leaves that make it look a little prettier. 